everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Faith Creations. Thanks for tuning in. I am making one of the final fall soaps for the season before I get into Halloween, winter, and Christmas themes. And it's one of these one of those soaps that I didn't I didn't quite plan out. I was contacted a few months ago in the summer when I was doing a drink inspired series by Sweet Suds Bath Boutique in Ellicott City to custom make a couple soaps for her. And unfortunately, as I was shooting that video for her one of her soaps, there was a huge flood in Ellicott City and it knocked out so many shops that damaged so many people's wonderful like cafes and just merchandise and it just all washed down the road and a lot of the people haven't been able to reopen or chose not to reopen but Sweet Suds has been working on getting her shop together to open for October so it's been a few months I sold the soaps that I made for her, I put them on the Etsy shop, they're gone, no hard feelings, it was kind of like whatever you need, I'm not going to hold you to it, it's fine, do what you gotta do. But now that she's got her shop opening up, she wants to design a soap for her shop that I'm going to make today. I've let her have free range of the whole thing, it's kind of weird because I didn't design it and I've just kind of let go of all concept of what I think it should look like and just give it to her. She's going to design this whole soap and it's going to be a spiked cider and it's going to be like pink. I don't know. <laughs> These things just don't go together for me. But it's, it's what she wants. It's what she pictured. That's what she sent me. I said give me an idea of what you want to look like and that's, that's how it's going to be. Anyway, I also took a cute little so break, um, and I went to, to Deep Creek, and I've talked about that place to you guys before. I had some really great experiences with some friends that I thought I would share with you because a little out of my comfort zone there as well. And for my friends that went with me, we were new experience. This is this is all new. <laughs> let's get started and let's make some soap. Again, designed the soap what she wanted to look like she said can we get crazy and do a pink squirrel with a cinnamon stick in the frosting something resembling cinnamon or nutmeg sprinkled on top and apple cider so that's what we're doing I'm gonna start with the oils here melted down left at room temperature I've got my Sodium lactate lye water solution here. I'm putting it through a strainer, which I don't normally do, but you can see I've got some clumps in here, whether it was from, you know, if like there's lye that didn't get uh, dissolved, or if there was like some old soap batter in the bottom of the cup, because sometimes I use them for um, filling an icing bag. There's, there's, Plenty of reasons. So I thought today I would just start off by dissolving or <laughs> sifting the lye water so that those undissolved bits didn't end up in the soap and they can cause lye pockets. All right, we're gonna give this a whirl with the kitchen vibrator and then I'm gonna split it into two colors. I've got some, this is Raspberry Mica by Brambleberry. Not used this one before just dissolved that in some of the soap oil. I've never used this one, this color before. It looks really pretty. And then I've just got some titanium dioxide and water. I forgot to add my buttermilk powder and my kaolin clay. So that is now in there. And I'm just going to mix this up. That looks good. So I'm gonna split this into the pink and the white. It's going to be more of a white based soap more than it is going to be pink. I just want that little pink swirl in there. So let's pour some of the batter into this. And then we'll pour the titanium dioxide into this. 
starting with the white batter. I'm going to mix that up and then I'll move over to the raspberry and mix that up. Looks good. So let's get the pink. Perfect. Alright, so the fragrance. I was looking for a cider fragrance that didn't discolor because I hate fragrances that discolor. Even though I like to add color va vanilla color stabilizer to it if there is vanillin in it, sometimes I just don't always trust it. So I found a fragrance on Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is called Spiked Cider. And the notes in it are as follows. An aromatic blend of Bartlett pear, golden apricot aged to perfection in wooden oak barrels with a hint of oak brandied currant. That just sounds delightful. So I kind of feel like the brandied currant goes along with the pink a little bit. You know, you think of fall, you can, you can think of berries. All right, it's growing on me. So I'm going to mix the fragrance into that. <clears throat> and then we'll start pouring into the mold. Mm -hmm. I already have this in the pink, so I might as well just mix up the pink first. So over the Labor Day weekend, Bradley and I took our friends, Erica and Marcus, another couple that we hang out with a lot. Erica is my best friend. And his parents have a house up in Deep Creek that they like to go up to for weekends. And we, we asked them, hey, is it all right if we use the house for Labor Day weekend? And they were like, sure, no problem. So we took up our friends and we spent Labor Day weekend up there. And we had a really nice time. Usually I I hate the three hour drive to get up there. Like I can't stand it. I don't know why. You can go like 70 miles per hour. It's really a pretty drive. I just feel like you drive all the way out there and you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Some people are like, oh yeah, that sounds so relaxing. I would do that. To me, I'm like I drive somewhere for three hours. I expect there to be like this crazy town of things to do. I don't know, I'm weird. I want to go see something. So I guess I really, I haven't given Deep Greek that much credit. You know, I, I wasn't always a fan of it. But this trip, it, it changed my mind a little bit. I had a lot of fun and we tried some new stuff. And I will keep going back and probably continuing to do these activities that we did. All right, so I am going to start pouring this into the mold. And I have to think about this because I want to do a hanger swirl in this. So I am going to pour in some of the pink on one side. And then I'm going to pour in the white. to the side and we're just going to pour in almost all of that and then I'm going to pour in the rest of the pink into this side maybe I'll save some of that and I'll just pour in the rest of the white So the activities we did, horseback riding. I've been on a horse a handful of times. It is one of my favorite activities, but it's so much more fun when you have other people to go with and when you are in a you know pretty place like Deep Creek that you can go on these nice trail rides. And 
Marcus had never been on a horse. Then there was that. So he was a little scared. And it it's funny, not funny, <laughs> when someone who's never been on the horse gets on the horse. Like, I, I can't help but laughing. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was a little scared. And Bradley and Erica have only been on a horse like one other time as well. So they're not experienced. I'm not experienced by any means. I've probably consider myself like a novice. I wouldn't leave myself alone with a horse, but I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm comfortable enough. So, got on these horses, went for an hour, an hour long horseback ride. Let me tell you how sore that'll make you. I couldn't walk afterwards. <laughs> We got to go pretty fast. For a first time on a horse, going at a, you know, a gallop was pretty neat for, you know, Marcus to experience. Like when I first got on a horse, I didn't get to go that fast. This place also didn't do helmets either. And I realized that halfway through the, the horse trap, or what is the word I'm looking for? The, the, <laughs> I have just lost all words. Whatever, halfway through the tour, the the horseback tour, I realized we weren't wearing any helmets. And that is very unusual, even if, you know, someone, you know what you're doing, you know, they, these people don't want anyone to get hurt, or if you, you go somewhere, they don't want to be held accounted, accountable for if you fall off the horse, although you have the sign waivers that say if you die or get hurt, it, it is not our fault. But I just thought it was really strange that we didn't have on any helmets. So then there was that. So I'm just going to swirl all of this pink in here in all different directions. Right. That looks good. And then I'm going to get the icing together for the top of this, the little soapy frosting as well. And I'm not going to use the whip topping that I usually put on my soap, so I'm just going to mix up some soap batter and pipe that on for the soap. So same thing as the first half. better and then I have the lye water solution that I've added the titanium dioxide to and I'm going to mix that up all right so these are my icing colors and I'm just going to let them set up so that they get to the pipeable consistency and then I will bring you guys back for the piping. Kama really makes this look like red, but I promise it's hot pink or magenta, I guess. Raspberry, yeah. All right, so I've got a Wilson 8B. And I'm just gonna do, I'm not used to piping on these little guys anymore. Just the piping on my five pound mold. Anyway, horseback riding. If you if you've never done it or you've never gone with a group of people, I highly suggest it. It is so much fun. You get so many good laughs out of it. If you've been on a horse or if you've not been on a horse, and then the tour guide we have, he was so full of like corny horse jokes, like why the long face, horrible dad jokes. <laughs> But it was entertaining and then, you know, just trying to observe everyone else and see how they were making out with, you know, getting a good grip on the reins and learning how to steer a horse. It, it was just a really fun experience. And I suggest that everyone get some friends together and go horseback riding. After the horseback riding, we 
went to go-karts and we had tried to do this the day before and I I don't know I'm weird I'm like I don't want to get on the go-karts I don't trust myself on a go-kart what if I crash I don't know how to steer it what if I can't stop it this is really dumb we're just driving around a huge circle no thank you and then the heavens opened up and it rained so I was like yes I don't have to do it I don't know why I could be like oh yeah let me get on this like five six hundred pound animal and you know trust it because it has a brain I can do that but I can't get on a go-kart <laughs> there's something wrong with me so the next day since everyone had already purchased tickets they they all went back and were like we're gonna we're gonna try this again it's sunny out we're gonna go go kart right um racing and I'm like fine I'll do it we spent the money we're here whatever I'm just gonna take my time don't worry about me I'll be in the back and that's I absolutely was I was in the back and I actually did pretty well I will say <laughs> I would do it again it was so out of my comfort zone but I did it Putting the final bit of icing on here. Little cute pink dollop on top, isn't it adorable? If you've never been horseback riding or go kart riding, or if you've done one and not the other, do you think you would rather do one and not the other? Or, or I'm just crazy. It's just me. <laughs> like I'm not down for horseback. I mean, I'm not down for go kart riding, but give me a horse, and I'm all about it. All right, so then I'm gonna stick the cinnamon sticks in here. Stick the cinnamon sticks. And I kind of wish they were shorter. But it is what it is. I don't know how to cut a cinnamon stick without like probably cutting my finger off. So they're just, they're gonna be a little embedded in there. <laughs> probably more than they should be. So this is the soap that she wanted. This is exactly what she had asked for. I am going to add a little bit of a personal touch on it because that's who I am. And I've got some anise stars or anise stars. I'm not quite sure the right way of saying that. They smell delicious. They smell like licorice. They also remind me of cider. Like I, if I were to make a hot cider, I would put cinnamon sticks and cloves in it. So, sticking these on here, like so. All right, and then for the final touch, I've got some salts that I've dusted in some brown mica to sprinkle on top here. To be like the cinnamon or the nutmeg little sprinkle that you would probably see on a dessert. <laughs> All right, I, I am quite happy with that. It has been a long time since I've piped a little mold like this. And I'm gonna touch this off with some glitter because why not? Ta-da! Love it! All right, I'll let this sit for 24 hours. Give it a little spray with a rubbing alcohol. Now come back to cut it. This is so pretty, I don't even want to cut it. Like, I just want to keep it like this. I'm kind of digging the pink. I was a little against it before, but it goes, I think it goes well with like the browns. Ready? Ready? The cinnamon stick. <laughs> there it is. Wow, I love it. Look at that. That's so pretty. I used the hanger sprawl. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Even like this little pink top. This is super cute. I can't wait to present these to her. I feel like we're going to have to film a video of Ellicott City when we finally get to go and yes. meet Autumn at Sweet Suds and check out her shop and say hello. Oh, so pretty. 
We were talking about Deep Creek, Bradley. What, did, what was your favorite part of Deep Creek? Oh, uh, horseback riding and hitting uh, someone else's boat with the. Uh, oh, I didn't talk boat. about that. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, someone else who was unnamed. I don't know. <laughs> Bradley, Bradley got his uh, boat license probably a year ago, and yeah, he's only you're... taken the boat out like a handful of times. Yeah. You know, we go up there like once, twice, maybe three times a year, mm -hmm. and his dad has a little pontoon boat, and <laughs> Bradley was backing it up and and backed it right up into someone else's boat. There was no damage to anyone's boat, but... Well, I backed up and then drove kind of... We were trying to whip it as fast as we could forward to get away from the dock. Let's just say Tierra couldn't... Uh, relax after that incident. No. Well, you kind of did. I, eventually I did, but it was just like, oh great. It's going to be that kind of like... You could have put your leg out over the side and pushed off the other person's boat. So it been <laughs> I'm your sorry, leg Captain. I thought you knew what you were doing. <laughs> this Captain doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> I just trust you to drive a boat, mister. I have my boat license. Yeah, I've only taken the boat out about five <laughs> times with my boat license. I wouldn't know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the horses was great. Do you recommend that everyone? Woo! This is really lightning out there. Yeah, we have a storm going around. Power might even go out on this one. Uh oh. Do you recommend that everyone go out and go horseback riding? Like, take a group of friends. Oh yeah, of course. And go horseback riding. It's fantastic. We got to go fast. We didn't have to wear any. Um... That I don't recommend. Everyone should wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like a I little daredevil at that point. Like, put me on a horse with no helmet and go really fast, but does Tierra want to get on a go-kart? No. No, not really. <laughs> a thing that kids probably get on. Go-karts are fun. Ugh. I guess I would do it again. Yeah. Alright. Well, stay tuned after this because I'm going to post some video of the... The, the horseback riding oh, yeah. and the go karting, and yeah, it's going it's going to be fun because you get to see it from my point of view. Yeah. Did you tell your people about the spectacles? No, no one knows about my spectacles, but they will. <laughs> ooh, 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 be careful, no. honey. Can't, can't cut it that way. Look, I'm going to ruin a soap. Come um, on. Uh, why'd you change it anyway? Because this. Oh, the angle. Because of this guy was. Do you want to like here. move it a little bit forward? What? There you go, and then push it down. You made it. There you go. Alright, I'm going to do that again. Here, don't do that. Oh, oh, we're fine. Oh, it's, everything's oh, all right. Oh, it's fine. Everything's all right. <laughs> so, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Go check out Sweet Sud. She is on Instagram and Facebook. And if you live in Maryland, go visit her in Ellicott City. Um, getting her shop back up and running is a really big thing. And I'm really excited to go check that out. Oh my gosh, this lightning is really scaring me right now. <laughs> New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later. Boom. Yummy.